Say hi to everyone. <laughs> this is Angela, and we continue working today. She had a performance, uh, her opening, which went quite successful. So before we start, let's actually look at it and let's review. I want you to find at least two good things. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you don't have you don't have to oh. uh, watch the score. Just uh, so when you're watching, I want you to see if you can figure out. Uh, what do you like about your performance and what do you wish you could, you could have done differently? Your performance was one of the uh, very well prepared. Mm -hmm. And don't count memory slips as a negative thing. It's just part of the live performance. Only if you perform this particular piece like multiple times in public, usually it goes super smoothly. So since it was uh, your first public performance, consider it for breathing. Okay, two things that you're gonna repeat again and again. <laughs> Well, the good thing that you yeah. even though, so, what I want to if you, we compare your uh, you playing a year ago and you playing now, your meter become much more stable. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's you much more in control right now than mm -hmm. before. So that's a really good thing. It's a big improvement. Uh, that's usually always a struggle okay. with the performance. Your dynamic range expanded. You playing now louder with okay. more power. And I think you feel also more confident on stage. I don't know if you feel this way, but it, it certainly reads in your... Sorry, I'm not sure what it was. Okay. Maybe it connected to the, to, oh, okay. <laughs> to the TV okay. or something else. So um, what do you wish you had done differently? What you, like from this performance to the next, what do you think you can do differently? Not this piece particularly, uh, just in general. More dynamic? 
I think it could be more, it, it has, it can expand it or it can be more expressive, right? You can take more time with, between the sections, right? When it yeah. says fermata, be more confident and don't rush from fermatas, oh, that's okay. definitely so. Yeah. Uh, and actually the beginning, I felt so, if you conduct along with your ya, ba, pi, so this is actually not very slow, as yeah. you notice, right? So it's not conveying the movement of the river, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Especially yeah. the moonlit river, right? So I think it's supposed to be more majestic. So if we're talking about yeah. this piece, so but you can just feel this grandeur more, so it's like more energy coming for you. What else you wish you could have done differently? Like more expressive, more dynamic, more confidence. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you do to improve memory sleeps? Oh. Two things you can do: perform publicly more often, yeah. and start from an expect. Start yeah. not from the beginning, right? Start from the chunks that you usually not expect to. Usually, the memory sleeps happen towards the middle, oh, yeah. between the middle and the end. All the conjunctions between the sections they usually more dangerous because they involve more shifts. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I would say sit even more sturdily. Okay. And you know, I found the I'm changing the height from performance to performance. Recently I started sitting again higher because I want more freedom from, from my hands. But in general, if you sit lower, it just give you a little bit more sense of stability. You might perform more uh, precise, mm -hmm. but higher, less precision, a little bit more freedom of movement. So when you're sitting higher, you really have to centralize yourself and push against the ground. So this moving controllably versus uncontrollably. So good. I'm glad to hear all those observations. Okay, now we have only approximately, f uh, I wanna say five weeks before the, the oh, winter yeah. recital. What is the most ready piece? Um, I don't know. Is it Chopin? Is it? Let's in this. So, just pick one, and let's focus on that because we don't have that much time. So, when we don't have much time, we have to like cut down the other choices. <laughs> okay, uh, let's start by warming up as usually we do. And today's A flat plus plus E flat at ninety two oh, yeah. per beat. Okay, and sorry we have some construction going on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead, you will try. supposed to give this a little bit more freedom okay and see if you can drop everything at chaka 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 so they're supposed to be go, go to the bottom of the keys so you can yeah ba, 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 da, da, da. Mm -hmm. so here's the problem you only go in three octaves maybe oh. four so oh, that means you have to start okay. lower yeah, awesome. yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish there was more power, more energy behind it, but that's okay. You will develop that a little bit later. is the left hand. So when you're practicing the scales, I would practice left hand down, up and yeah. down, especially down. And I would practice down twice more than I would practice yeah. up. So for the next week, let's move on. Uh, it's okay not to do everything because we're gonna keep reviewing that for the, throughout the year. Okay. So for the next weeks, let's move on to uh, minors. Okay. 
And let's do F sharp. Melodic. Okay? And use this tactic. Practice the left hand more. Mm -hmm. So F sharp, melodic, left hand twice more than right hand. Okay? Right hand. And more down than up. Mm -hmm. Like consciously. And try not to look down. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, and we don't have the, uh, we don't have those, uh, phrase modulation. Uh-huh, okay. Can you, uh, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at yeah. this, right? Mm -hmm. So what notes do you have? You have E, you have D, and you have G sharp. Yeah. Yeah, it is G sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does it make? So where is your root? Where is your root? Your root is on top of the interval of the second, which is E, right? Uh huh. So, uh huh. And when you arrive in where? This is A, C sharp, and A. I mean, it's missing a, it's missing the fifth, but it doesn't matter because it actually tells you what chord it is. So, yes. And what is? What is A in D minor? It is 5. And what is E in A? Again? Five. 5. Five, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be 5 if we, we take it this way. So it's 5, 6, 5, or 5. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, then. G, F major. Mm hmm. Five seven, that's correct. Six is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the okay. rest is correct. You only were confused mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So try next time. We're gonna number number two. Just run through. It's here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I assume the beginning is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let, let's look at the um, the middle, yeah. <laughs> which usually is always a problem. But let's start from here, and that's what I, how would I suggest to start memorizing even from here. Mm -hmm. super slowly. That's right, that's right. Okay, now, uh, mm, oh, good question, good question. You should, because it's this, it's uh, legato under, yeah? So that basically means it's almost going to be like harp, so that means it should ring, but you pluck it. So, chong in come. So, go ahead, put the pedal down. And, yeah, yeah, lift after. So, do you know what lift is supposed to be? After yeah. the every second yeah. one, right? So, and. Not after. I mean, not before, but after, right? Does it make sense? So, imitate harp, basically. Because harp doesn't, I mean, unless she re st she stops the ring of the, but it's a, okay, can you try it one more time? Yeah, go ahead. So I hear I would do one. It makes complete sense, right? Mm -hmm. Okay with three. I don't want to dictate too much, but 
mean, as, as long as it's clear in the mind, you might get away with it. Fine. It's a pizz pizzicato, right? <laughs> Hard to change, right? After yeah. you practice it so much. So basically, so uh, go ahead and put put your hands on my hands. Mm -hmm. So. is moving in the hands. It's, it's exactly the imitation. supposed to be uh, uh, just a little bit quicker but we're supposed to hear everything can you try just this so it's proud and then yes The fall is the same, right? So, blue, say for me, blueberry. Blueberry, blueberry, pocatel. Or blueberry, blueberry, caterpillar. And don't rush those. Cut. It's the same. Remember the piece you played before? Oh. Yang, tang, 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 tang. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ta, ti, ta. So, this one is a little bit more stuck on the key. Right hand only, and that's it. Yeah, good. Now play only left hand. needs to be more, yeah. the middle is supposed to be the least, mm -hmm. and bottom is the second from the top. So, soprano, bass, altos, <laughs> and then it's okay. okay. Good. Now I'm going to be super picky yeah. because it's Chopin. Yeah. 
think where your melody is going to start with a yeah. with a with with a goal in mind. It's not like every single word is just separate from the rest mm -hmm. of the phrase, right? Mm -hmm. It has a meaning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So much less. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, they interrupt, mm -hmm. right? So imagine the here's the main character and here's background. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so T on the background. Uh -huh. Okay. So basically, you need uh, technically what you have to do. Faster inside of the key, faster inside of the key, slower action, okay. right? So, T, that's how it's gonna feel. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, it's right. I know you wanna do T. So it may be okay, but then you have to be, if you're super soft here, then it's really hard <laughs> yeah. to navigate this. So that means you have to pump the level here. Okay. Yeah, sometimes piano is just the look in the eyes. It's not necessarily... <laughs> Start it and think yaka chita ta. So this is together and this is together. And this for now, don't really worry, okay? <laughs> yeah, because you're trying to step on this and has this has to be weightless. So ya ta ti ta, ya ta ti ta, and this, uh, remember, this needs to be up to help to carry the weight. Can you try right here? Ya ta ta ta, ti, uh, uh, more impulse. Ya ta ta ta, that's right, okay. Now, ya ta, so if we be very, that's supposed to be come up to here, that comes right before there. Yeah, but you, I think you're good. So go ahead, just play left hand. That's right. the time not be dum bum 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 right di da 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 ya da 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 it's not this type of music ya ta ti ta di wa da di ya ta ti ta ti da da conduct with me put your hand on mine ya ta ti ta ta so you conducting in three but we're saying four right ya ta ti ta ti closer for me it's supposed to be. I know it's a little bit stretched right now, but it's okay. Can you now go from 17? Yeah. Huh? yeah. 
I mean, I'm not going to make theories, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was repudiated at some time, yeah. or like just by performance uh, tradition or something. So, Tchaikovsky Concerto. There was a big chords in the piano. Tchaikovsky actually wrote them arpeggiated. It's just disappeared in a later performance tradition. So, what they said, right? It's like, priam, priam, Don't repeat, I mean, maybe. I'm not gonna. Be that bold, but once you let's say if you want to do something yours, yeah, why not? It's kind yeah. of kind of fitting, but bum, 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 feel the plucking, plucking, plucking. Can you play for me? B flat major, yeah, just B flat major, B flat major, B major. Um, let's see what kind of finger names we hear. Uh, so one, four, one, three. It's not enough. Yum, yum. So, what needs to happen again? You have to sit very straight and not rely so much on your hands to support, but yum, bum, bum, a little bit more like you have a floaty under your arms. Okay, yum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Can you try? The, for example, when you're changing here, uh, you change into you're doing this, and then I mean that's okay. But I again I would slide if you change to three, just slide on two, use it as a support. Same thing here, just uh, especially here because it's so easy. Can you play for me just left hand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just uh, just B flat major. because we have those five here. Yeah, remember, we have to... Yep, okay, uh-huh, good. So, go ahead and play for me just right hand. Just right here, just from the oh, flat. Uh, so what I would do here, I would completely break the ties. It's useful to practice this legato, but essentially it's this. Right? It's a new position after the shift. Plus, do you see how Chopin was smart? He wouldn't write the stupid movements. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a new, yeah. but the palm the solo, the squeeze, squeeze, and don't rush. You will have you will have to either clean the pedal here a little bit, or like you one eighth of the pedal. It's really tiny, okay? More luxurious. Better, but don't disappear. Yeah, Yeah, 
哒叽哒哒，为什么就是呀，爸比爸爸，呀，爸比爸爸，叽哒叽，呀，这 just this， 爸比爸爸，叽哒叽， for synchronization， 呀，爸比爸爸，叽哒叽， yeah， think， 呀，哒叽哒哒，呀，哒叽哒， go ahead， conduct with me， 呀，哒叽哒哒，叽哒哒哒哒，所以，爸爸。嗯，呀哒呀哒哒哒哒哟哒叽哒哒哒哒，嗯，哒呀哒呀哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒
the teeth. Ya ti da 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 da. Yeah, and not baroque, right? Ti ti da 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 da. Every single. I mean, in baroque as well. It's just the way to write. It's a shorthand melody. It's not like or an addition. Not important. Not important. No, it is important. Part of the melody. you can be less here yeah otherwise so pump up the level of the main voice so you don't have to be that careful with the left hand otherwise it's always like oh, oh, oops oops right so more even when you see this use your left pedal and project more here um, start again at 27 supposed to be aligned with the bass but what we see here at least in this edition on this page it's before the beat right? oh. so go ahead and give it a try again for 27. if that wouldn't be crossed out i would argue yes play okay. on the beat In order to produce the line, you actually need to, every single one needs to be dropped in. So, so don't tense up in order to produce the line. Really drop every single one. Okay. I'd say bass is too loud. More. not completely out of time that would be awful it's yeah. the worst imagine possible but <laughs> then wait wait okay let's do it one more time one more time okay just listen to me more carefully 
supposed to be perfect behind that. Okay. okay, can you try it one more time? Sorry for being so picky. <laughs> uh, can you make it ring? So imagine that you, like it's a big clock, but you obviously using your left pedal, okay? Better. Yeah, and be careful on, uh, so, but much more faster attack on those two, okay? I like that. That beginning was good. Uh, balance towards right hand more. More towards right hand. Uh, that was too fast. <laughs> Push 
Here goes the road. Longer two. That's it. Chopin had elongated arm, very long fingers, narrow palm, right? So it's it's not a bad idea to emulate that. Like you're squeezing every single key. Okay, can you play it one more time and I'm gonna let you go. Imagine squeezing every single key. Yes, that's right, now, yeah, now body. Good, uh, uh, along with this. And notice is this one is not again the this harpy and then it's okay can you play this like every single note has a, such a big meaning That's right, that's right. And you shine, right? Suddenly. Okay, I've got, I've got to let you go. Good work. <laughs> hey, here you go.